good. Who is going to make it back? Mistake switched to Sombra, but he can't touch the point. And New York Excel defend their title. They are the stage two and three champions of the Overwatch League. This week in the Overwatch League, the NYXL wins the Stage 3 playoffs and becomes the first team to qualify for the season playoffs. Boston sets a record of 15 consecutive victories and Dallas Fuel's ex-coach Kai Kai has moved to their Texas rivals, the Houston Outlaws. We've got all the news and the best highlights from the past week. From Pine, right? And Taimu doesn't have his infrasight yet. Oh, go! Oh, go. We don't have a warm-up tomorrow, so we wanted to pick an easy opponent. Picking LA Gladiators. The road to the playoffs was pretty smooth sailing for the four teams that made it, especially as Soul and Shock took the Outlaws out of the race. So we entered Sunday with the four teams that most viewers expected, Boston, New York, Valiant and the Gladiators. In the first of the semi-finals, Boston rolled through the Gladiators in a dominant 3-0 victory. The first map was pretty scrappy as the Gladiators used a Bastion to quickly push through most of Junkertown, but as soon as Boston stabilised at the third and final point, they took control. Fisher trying to escape, no, but he was going to pursue him doggedly to his demise. DC on Bishu, and he's done. The Riptire now, just an insurance policy. And Boston go up one map early. Boston then stayed in almost complete control for Ilios and Anubis to secure their spot in the finals. And they're not done yet. Series is over, and the uprising will be in our stage three finals. Next up was New York against the Valiant, and interestingly, this had identical results to the Boston Gladiators match. Things were a bit closer as the Valiant put up more of a fight, but it was New York who moved on to the final. Looking dominant, Doa. We saw the, the custom built strats, the tailored strats coming back out from New York in this series. We haven't seen much of it in stage three, but they are ready. They are alive again, and the Los Angeles Valiant. Unfortunately, doing their best Brunhilde impression and going straight into the fire. <laughs> Boston versus New York was really the final that everyone was expecting, and it quickly became clear that New York had been expecting it as well and had done their preparation. This tank's mono will find the DMAX on note and they're following kill as well. Savi always throws the pulse set and it's a wipeout. Boston uprising, they're getting run over. Recently, I think they've taken a step back from practice and planning to give the whole team a bit of a break. But with $100,000 up for grabs, they certainly had the motivation to put in some extra hours of preparation, and it paid off. The first two maps favoured the XL to win, and although Boston put up a good fight, it wasn't enough, and we went into halftime with New York, just one map away from victory. Nearly knocks him into the murder chasm, that was so close, mistakes out of it as well, and the New York XL will take the lead and maintain it in this grand finals, two maps to nil. However, the next round was on Voskaya Industries, Boston's best map, which they have a perfect 10 win record on. If there was any chance for them to turn it around, this was it. As the match kicked off, New York opened up with a pretty good attack, but Boston hit back very hard, setting an even better time. In both of the team's time bank rounds, they each secured the first objective, but neither managed to even get a single tick on the second, and it forced a draw. Not what Boston was hoping for, but they remained in the series as we went to Numbani. And the Infrasight helps him so much to set up that kill. I thought he got the Mercy, instead he will take the Zenyatta. One clips, Mistakes right in the face! This was the best map of the series. Both teams played great. Mistakes versus Pine, Striker versus Saviobi. This was an intense game that saw New York secure all three points on their attack. Boston then looked on track to do the same, but got stopped just a meter and a half away from the final checkpoint and were unable to get it across the line. Who is going to make it back? Mistakes switch to Sombra, but he can't touch the point! And New York XL defend their title! This is New York's third stage final and their second victory. Boston was able to test them, but even after five months of games, no one has been able to find a consistent answer to the triple threat of New York's all-star DPS players and Jonax bloodthirsty Zenyatta. On top of winning the stage final, they've also now become the first team to seal the deal and officially qualify for the season playoffs. This was thanks to them picking up two more wins this week and then Seoul beating Houston. With only one stage of 10 games left to play, New York is now 11 wins ahead of the 7th place team. At the other end of things, Dallas, Florida and of course Shanghai are now unable to qualify as even with a perfect stage 4, they couldn't catch up. Outside of the playoffs, we had a few interesting results that might be getting overlooked. The first was a great week for the Shock, who beat the Outlaws and Mayhem to eventually finish 5th in the stage. The Outlaws also lost 4-0 to Seoul, who made the move this week to take their star support player Ryu J Hong and move him into a main tank role. So far it seems to be paying off, but I want to see more to be sure. 
And they feel like Ryu Jae-hong on that Winston, on that main tank role in general, can provide this stability. And uh, yeah, that's why they decided to make that role swap. So far, they are very happy with the outcome. I mean... The London Spitfire picked themselves up from the bottom of the standings with two wins. But Mayhem, Dallas and Shanghai are still stuck down there, each picking up two more losses. Boston was the first team to secure a perfect stage with victories over both LA teams, but the Valiant still claimed the win over Philadelphia in a close match. It is to turn up when you need them. Beautiful grab, sets up the clean sweep, and Philadelphia Fusion, they're struggling now. We've been reporting for a while now that it looked like Dallas Fuel's recently fired head coach Kai Kai might be making a move to their Texas rivals, the Houston Outlaws, and this week it's been all but confirmed. After being spotted a couple times in the Houston dugouts during matches, this week he posted his endorsement page for an Overwatch World Cup coaching position, and in it listed himself as a current coach for the Outlaws. Nothing official from Houston yet, but at this point it's the worst kept secret in the league. Taking a look at the overall standings at the end of Stage 3, it's Boston's dramatic rise this stage from 6th place to 2nd that's made all the difference, as they push the other teams down in the rankings. Valiant have also climbed back up and pushed the Outlaws out of the top six, but these middle of the pack teams are going to have a close race next stage to see which of them makes the playoffs. And with a dramatic meta shift with the recent changes to the game, stage four is going to be really crazy. Next week we'll be taking a look at how this still developing meta might impact the teams as we look forward to the final stage of the season. We'll let you know which teams to watch out for and who might surprise you, but for now let me know your predictions. Will New York and Boston continue to dominate in stage 4 or will another team have a chance to shine? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, this is James Vickers saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game. I'm the best Chris in the world. Alright!